hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel this video is all about flutter rewind for the year 2019 and i'll try to cover all the facts announcements events technical updates that we had for the year 2019 and in case if i miss any of the updates just leave a comment uh, and i'll try to see if i could make a part two video or add an extra slide uh, which will be available on the kit and the content of this video is um, categorized in such a way that you can view the details on a monthly basis and some brief pointers about the facts and in case if you'd like to know more about those particular events or facts I'll leave a link in the description of the video for every fact so that you can find more details about it all right uh, to start for the month of Jan it's been a very special month for me because I started up my YouTube channel and thank you so much for the overwhelming response support questions comments and uh, please do continue the same support and definitely I'll get back with more videos in 2020 and uh, I do have a github repo so you can find all my work and I have updated the code as well so please do continue to contribute or look for the code here and also you can find the videos that I've been uploading every day please subscribe and comment and like the videos all right then moving on to the month of February we had the flutter create challenge uh, which was a contest that was held by the google team to build something interesting and inspiring and to build a flutter uh, project or an app using a constraint of 5kb and uh, there were overwhelming response and uh, we could also um, see the kind of work uh, people had submitted and also the winner so i'll get back to the winner details um, in my later slides so definitely there is this link you can find out the details and then we had the flutter 1.2 at the mobile world congress uh, where the focus um, was ma majorly on the um, improved stability performance the quality of the core work and um, and they had actually had a polished visual finish and the functionality of existing widgets and there were a lot of bug fixes for the video player web view and maps and they also um, added a floating cursor texting text editing so these were the couple of updates related to the uh, flutter uh, 1.2 and then we had another update a major update which was uh, flutter had launched their own youtube channel and uh, definitely do subscribe if you haven't because we have very interesting um, playlists like the boring show the widget of the week and whatever events related to flutter happens you would find their videos updated on this flutter official channel well moving on to the month of march uh, definitely we had a couple of awesome updates the first one being the tetris game uh, I grew up playing this game a lot so this is something very special to me so when I found someone had developed the same game using flutter I was really thrilled to see um, and excited to see what was actually happening so this has been developed uh, by one of the developers and it has been open sourced and then we have um, another uh, company called dream 11 it's one of the india's largest sports gaming platform with almost 50 million registered users so like hamilton reflectly app this company also adopted flutter and you can find out how the development team got this idea for the platform and how they could literally use flutter for their app and please do check out their developer story i will add the link in the description and also we had a couple of more updates from the mobile world congress team related to the flutter 1.2 update where chris and matt talks about um, the flutter 1.2 updates and also they give a live demo with a few basic uh, flutter applications and even uh, the flutter for the design so please do watch these videos and these were the couple of updates for the month of march all right so the flutter update for the month of april first thing we have the widget of the week playlist added to the 
Flutter YouTube channel where they had the series of quick animated videos uh, where it was just one minute or maybe one minute 30 seconds and to talk about each widget in a particular style and explain it very uh, beautifully as to how that widget could be implemented in your real-time application. Uh, you can watch the playlist and then we had uh, the flutter meetup group so if you look at the meetup every month we had meetups growing up in every places and also we could see uh, the number of members also increasing uh, showing a lot of interest towards flutter so definitely you can find uh, a meetup uh, in the place where you live and if you don't find one please do create it what better way to create a flutter meetup and get to know other flutter developers uh, in and around your community and then uh, I also wanted to highlight this particular plugin created uh, by one of the flutter developers which was called the uh, AR kit plugin it was really fascinating and someone created it for the first time during uh, the month of April and um, yeah uh, definitely do check out this plugin uh, quite interesting uh, not the usual uh, flutter app something really different moving on to the month of May I, I would say this month was a full packed month uh, where the major Google IO happened uh, we had major announcements like uh, the material design the flutter 1.5 and um, the state management provider package was introduced and uh, we had a lot of updates and we also had flutter meet happening there where we uh, where we got to meet a lot of flutter developers all over the world and at the same time uh, there was a testing thing happening at the developer google io was the developer quest game so uh, if you look at the article here okay so this was about the google io so if you would like to know what really happened there's a quick review of it and uh, there was this interesting game that was uh, displayed and also demonstrated by the google team and um, th it was a game with a lot of intricate animations involved in it so please do check out this article which gives you a detailed description about it and uh, i think they have left a github link with all the details and um, also at the same month since uh, I was personally um, attending the Google I I got to meet a lot of um, uh, flutter developers so I did an interview with them and um, I have those uh, videos uploaded on my YouTube channel so if you would like to read their insights about flutter definitely check this out all right so then uh, for the month of June it was quite an interesting month I would say because for the first time uh, the flutter community had organized the first international hackathon for the 2019 and it was so well organized and it happened live all over the world developers participating and uh, we also had um, the winners and a lot of awesome work and um, and also you could find the number of teams that actually participated and um, how they came up with this idea and how they could build an app in 24 hours time and also you could find the best beginner project best organizer favorite and the the votes that have been um, added by the community itself definitely i'll add those links in the description and if you find these kinds of hackathon in future I would suggest please do participate definitely you would have a chance to meet developers and learn things and also get your creativity out also for the month of june we had a couple of more updates um, related to the dev tool uh, where you could actually inspect the ui like ui layout and uh, diagnose the ui chunk performance in case if you have one while you're developing flutter apps and uh, the source level debugging the debugging of memory issues also um, you could find another update which was about the reflectly app uh, which is one of the journaling app uh, which is purely built in flutter and you can find their um, developer story on youtube where the entire flutter team of the reflectly app talks about their experience and why they adopted flutter and how successful they are using this app so i will leave a link in the description all right so moving on to the month of july um the first thing first we had uh, the major update after the google io was the flutter 1.7 where they spoke about a couple of updates related to the android x 
And um, there is this article uh, from Tim, from the Flutter team itself, who has given updates uh, related to 1.7, where he talks about Android X, the app building, the game control support, and they almost had 1,250 issue pull requests closed. So you can you can see the uh, the depth of the um, issues getting resolved on the Flutter side. And also, we had another interesting app created by one of the Flutter team, uh, by Chris, where he designed this maze uh, game. And it's open sourced, and you can definitely check it out as to how he came up with these creative ideas. He's one such person I always look forward because he comes up with nice creative games like this. And also, there was this one Flutter developer who came up with this co cool plugin called Before and After, where it looks very simple, but definitely it's some kind of an interesting plugin where you could see the before and after effect of an image. And uh, this is how creatively you can use Flutter. So he has open sourced it. So please do check out this plugin. And uh, in case if I've not mentioned any of the plugins or I've not added it, uh, please do leave a comment. I will definitely add it in the slides uh, so that I can showcase your work. All right, so moving on to the month of August, it was a very interesting month where the Google team actually came up with a blog exclusively talking about the Flutter Create winner, and uh, which was held in February. And uh, where they talk about his journey into Flutter, how he built this um, Compass app, and within 5KB, actually what really motivated him uh, to build this app, or how long did it take for him to learn Flutter? I think it's definitely a good start for someone who wants to learn flutter and it really motivates people to do it so find this uh, link in the video description all right so after the uh, flutter create update we had um, three more updates in the month of september which was the one of the major release for flutter which was 1.9 and uh, in this you had a lot of updates one was the built-in widgets then io style updates then support for additional locales um, and also we had Dart 2.5 release uh, where with foreign function interface improving error message because initially when we had error message on a Flutter app, we could find the same message repeated over and over and it was not descriptive. But this time now if you have any bugs or errors in your app, you can see a very clear concise error messages so those kind of updates and you can also find uh, the updates related to 1.5 1.9 and also you could find more updates related to the uh, dart 2.5 uh, where they have a very uh, comprehensive uh, detail uh, related to the dart 2.5 and in the same month we have another big announcement made by the flutter europe team um, where they are conducting the first uh, biggest flutter conference in europe and um, it's going to be happening in poland uh, on jan 23rd and 24th it's a two-day conference i'm sure the tickets are almost out for the early bird um, but definitely there are tickets available so please do find out the details i'll add the link in the description and regarding the speakers list you have amazing speakers where you have even the google team joining the google experts various uh, topics that they're covering so please do watch it all right so moving on to the month of october uh, we had a couple of updates uh, the first one was the gd summit that happens every year for the google developer experts and um, definitely there's there are a couple of videos uploaded uh, and you can watch them and uh, you can also see there where flutter meetups also happening there and sharing their experience and uh, similarly we had another update from tim where he was talking about how flutter has been uh, flourishing as uh, the most fast growing skill that the software team is looking and even a lot of um, the, uh, courses are available on flutter on udemy and he was talking about how it's been trending also there were a couple of other projects that i would like to highlight the first one is the page turn update uh, which was developed by simon uh, which is like it gives you that page turn effect so i was always looking for one and uh, yes he came up with this and he has open sourced it and also there is this another um, project from the rx lab where he developed a flutter theme editor so if you click on the create and um, you could 
change the chip theme the slider and also the color so definitely it's one of the interesting things and um, I would leave a link in the description so you can definitely check out and see how things work here. Alright, so now moving on to the month of November, I kept this month entirely dedicated for the community work because I could see a lot of um, community work projects built based on animation and there was this one called Flutter Beat Sequencer, link in the description for all these um, work. If they're available on the github and in case if i've missed something please add a comment and i will add them in the slide finally moving on to the month of december which was another amazing month where we had the flutter interact conference that happened in brooklyn and uh, we also had the interact viewing parties so before i go to the viewing parties uh the couple of announcements that were made in the flutter interact uh was uh the first one the ios dark mode was introduced and then we had the in-app pur purchase plugin and we also had dart 2.7 updates like the extension null safety web support and beta and also character packages were available and there was also this amazing update which was the flutter octopus um, where you were able to run your code on multiple platforms and the devices simultaneously where you could track your code debugging it so that was a very cool thing uh, which was demonstrated uh, during the flutter intro also had a lot of cool updates from the google team and the flutter community where they were building a lot of things in dartpad because now it's also supporting flutter also there was this amazing project by one of the flutter developers um created using dartpad so there was no ide nothing just with the help of the dartpad he was able to build this we also had another update which was the supernova studio support for flutter where this tool was um very interesting it actually allows you to sketch and adobe xd designs into native front end for flutter so i will leave a link about all this or you could find all those details in the flutter keynote and even though i had updated all the details um and categorized month wise there are few updates which happens regularly so those are flutter weekly hump day q a and flutter friday tips so these things happen regularly on a weekly basis so please do follow them if you have any questions or you're working on any interesting project flutter weekly if you'd like to showcase your work um where they update all flutter dates on a weekly basis in, th in terms of a newsletter you have the flutter tips updated so yeah that was a lot of stuff about flutter um for the year of 2019 and um hoping uh this video is kind of a one stop to know what all happened in 2019 and as i mentioned i'm gonna leave a link in the description with all the details that i covered in this video also you would find this presentation on my github repo stay tuned uh, for more videos from me on flutter for the year 2000 yeah that's it for it and wishing you a happy 2020 see you soon